in an absolutely must-win game, the Detroit Lions absolutely didn't show up. Dan Campbell needs to be on the hot seat. For coming down for this, one. this season, his reign as Lions head coach is starting to look a lot like the Titanic taking on water. It looks like it's going down. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody out there in YouTube land. I am your host, Dan Thornton. This is Sunday's post-game version of Lions Talk Live. And unfortunately, we're going to keep it fairly brief today. It's obviously not a great day if you're a Lions fan. Dan Campbell and the Detroit Lions didn't even look like they got off the plane or bus that brought them over to Gillette Stadium. Nobody showed up. Nobody did anything. And here's my huge assessment of them, of today's game, let me say. Dan Campbell and his staff look like they are grossly overmatched time and time again. I'm going to draw in my experience over 30 years of coaching and tell you this. I think they've got a lot of good pieces. I think they've got a good message. But I think they also have a ton of inexperience. And it is showing game in and game out. Today, the Patriots took advantage of all that inexperience and not only just destroyed the Detroit Lions game plan on offense and defense, but beat them down so bad that they should all be thankful the bye week is next week because they can't lose that game. One good thing, I guess you could say, is that the Detroit Lions finally, after 19 straight drives, forced a punt. And why? Because the game was wrapped up and New England just simply said, we're just going to keep the ball on the ground, keep it running, and keep the clock turning. Unfortunately, the Detroit Lions defense, which looked abysmal before injuries, suffered numerous injuries throughout this game. Dan Campbell, here's my thought, and you know it's easy to always criticize a coach when you're sitting in the stands or at home, but you have a third-string quarterback playing today. The first drive, you decide to go for it on your own side of the field on fourth and half a yard or a yard. You didn't get it, and now you're taking some stress and pressure off that team, off that third-string quarterback. Billy Zappa was allowed all game long to just thrive. Thrive in that Detroit Lions seemed to do everything they could to take pressure off them. Again and again and again, Campbell elected to go for it on fourth down. Even fourth and nine in an obvious passing situation, they left virtually nobody to come in and chip block or help block Jordan and other pass rushers from New England. Goff was under duress all day long. And let's be honest, Goff didn't have a great game to begin with. That game plan to keep him upright looked more and more questionable throughout as we went obvious running situation and an obvious passing situation. I don't know who to blame, but here's what I can say. The Detroit Lions game plan is a result of a bunch of coaches who mean well, are doing good things, that are growing over time, but they flat out have very little actual experience in their positions. Campbell's tenure as a head coach is one season prior to this. Uh, Aaron Glenn's Tenure as a defensive coordinator was just last year and then this year. And how's that looking? Moving on to the offense. You, it's easy to say Bill Belichick owns everybody because he's been coaching for about 9,000 years. Our offensive coordinator looked lost and confused what to even try to do today. Why? Because some of that's a credit to New England and Bill Belichick. They devised a game plan that we're going to take away Detroit's receivers and, excuse me, tight end Hawkinson. They went mostly soft zone coverage forcing only underneath passes. I'm around St. Brown, who gave it a go today, looked highly ineffective, couldn't get in and out of cuts. One other thing I'll talk about is Jerron's one of the best pass rushers in all the league, and there were at least two times I noticed throughout the game where the Lions coaching staff allowed or selected TJ Hawkinson to go one-on-one -on -one and block this guy, and he got destroyed both times. Hawkinson, for all of his greatness, he is not a very dominant blocker, let alone versus one of the NFL's best pass rushers. So again, like everything else we've talked about in this video, I put it on the coaching staff to, for blame. What to do from here? Well, the Lions have 14 days until they take back to the field, and that's going to be at Dallas. And let me tell you, it's just bad all the way around. Whatever Campbell and his staff are going to do to try to salvage this season comes down to these next few games. I don't think it's going to be like last year where you're going to have a couple great wins late in the year. I think morale in the Lions roster has got to be near rock bottom. Players at some point 
need some sort of positive reinforcement for that belief that Campbell is trying to, to push into him, trying to change the culture, trying to show grit. Well, without victories, it's hard to keep asking professionals who are beat up in a violent sport like football to keep showing up over and over again. You've got to get them something to believe in, some sort of you know reinforcement to the message you're trying to establish. And I'm going to say this, everyone in Detroit, from the players, the GM, the ownership, to the coaches, need to really dive into the, these next two weeks and try to find a way to save the day.